What's up guys? Here's Anton Pavlinov, the Food Hacker Project and one of your favorite rubrics where I teach you two bonnet fins of varying difficulty. And today we will learn a super effective trick with Danny. Hello? We have a good reason today, since the first fin was made by Danny at the Pana tournament, where he successfully not the opponent, and his Pana was recognized as the most beautiful in the tournament. And the second trick, which is more difficult, I successfully used when I played with another top freestyler. So we are gonna have fun! Let's go! Well, the first trick is Danny's signature, since I didn't teach him to do it, and as I understood, he improvised it. Check that out. Okay, let's break it down. The basic principle of the fin is quite simple. Its final element can be used separately in different combinations. The bottom line is that you do the pana when you are standing with your shoulder to the opponent. I'm right-handed, which means I turn my right shoulder towards the opponent. The ball must be in front of me at a leg's length. After that, bring the ball back closer to you, forcing the opponent to reach for it. And get it through his legs with the outside of your foot. But an important nuance, in order for the trick to be more effective, you need to add some kind of maneuver to it. The most simple option is to make a turn while running from an opponent. I've seen this variation so many times in big football, and Danny's version is more sophisticated. He rolled the ball with his sole, began to move next to the opponent, being left shoulder to him. This was followed by a stop of the ball and a 180 degree turn, thus setting himself in the same starting position. And next, it remains to do the final shot with the outside of the foot. And that's it, really very easy and beautiful. Bravo Danny, perfectly executed. And the second trick for today, which is more difficult, is called Q8 Pana. I'm really delighted to show you an example of the trick performed by me in a real game against another strong freestyler. The move is quite minimalistic, there's no steps, stepovers, leg swings. But here's one short move, which should be done quickly with a good amplitude. So the starting position, turn your left shoulder to the opponent if you are a right-handed like me. The first stage, with the sole of the working foot, roll the ball behind your back and adjust its movement with the inside of the foot. Step number two, fix the ball firmly pressing it to the ground with the sole in the toe area and begin to wait for the opponent to reach for the ball. And as soon as you notice his very first foot move, immediately go to the final step. Roll the ball even further away from you and with an already extended leg, kick it in the Rabona-like style with your toes, exactly between the opponent's legs. That's all. It's very important to remember, as in many tricks that I told you about, you need to roll the ball exactly to the point you want the opponent to reach for. That's all guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. And as always, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so that not to miss the best videos about football tricks. See you later!